you know, let's say that people don't like these formal reports. They like getting their hands dirty and manipulating the data themselves. That's where my personal favorite, uh, current personal favorite, um, reporting style uh, comes into play, and that is Microsoft Excel. Who here knows what Microsoft Excel is and can use it? Well, that's where you're all going to enjoy this because what I'm going to do is open up a list of opportunities here. And I'm going to do some reporting on this, but I'm going to do it all in Excel. And you might be thinking to yourself, oh, OK, yeah, I can do Excel. But I'm going to click on this Export to Excel button, and we're going to get a couple of options. The first one is a static worksheet. That's what you're all used to working with, right? You have a worksheet, and you have a bunch of information typed into there, and then you have a nice, pretty worksheet. Dynamic worksheets, though, are really cool. What they do is they use this data connector for uh, Microsoft Excel, and it will dynamically, when you open that worksheet, pull the information into that worksheet when you open it. So every time you open that worksheet, it has your most recent up-to-date information in there for you. No need to open CRM, no need to open any other program. You just open that worksheet, and it's populated with your stuff in there for you. And we're going to do a dynamic pivot table right away, so it's just going to create a pivot table for us as well. So uh, it's gone ahead and, and done that, and it's opening up Microsoft Excel. Now, Excel has a few security features basically saying, hey, you're going over the internet to get some data, uh, so we need to just enable, uh, <coughs> enable this content here so that we're giving Excel permission now to access over the internet. And under our data ribbon tab here, we're going to hit refresh from CRM. That's going to open uh, that connection to Microsoft CRM, and it's going to pull in all our information. And you'll see that right there, My Open Opportunities. It brought it in now automatically for us. And because I said pivot table, uh, it's just going to add that one extra click to create that pivot table for us. For those of you who don't know what pivot tables are, they are ways of doing a little bit of analytics really easily and simply in Microsoft Excel. So here's my data source right here under my My Open Opportunities tab. But when I look at my pivot table, I have my list of fields here, and I can just kind of start reporting on this. So let's take a look at our rating right here. And let's add rating right here. What this is now telling me with those two clicks is I have one cold opportunity, six hot opportunities, and one warm opportunity. Now let's uh, take this off and let's just take a look at it a different way. Let's look at rating by estimated revenue. I have $30,000 worth of cold opportunities, $273,000 worth of hot, and $4,500 worth of warm. I'm just working in Excel. This, there's nothing to do with CRM here, really. Um, I'm just utilizing what I already know about Excel to get what I need. And because it has that dynamic aspect to it, if I were to save this, it doesn't save any of the data in here. It just saves all my calculations, my formulas, and my table. So the next time I open this, it's just going to now contain all the updated information. I can give that Excel spreadsheet to someone else. There's no security risk because it's not storing any data inside that spreadsheet. It needs to go to CRM to get its data. So that is probably right now one of my personal favorite ways to do reporting because it's so easy. And once we give the report to someone, they know what they're doing. And they can make those changes uh, quite easily. Uh, oh. And one other thing before we go, it's nice having these, uh, these tables here, but pivot tables in Excel are great, but they also have this uh, nifty little button right here called Pivot Chart. All this is available in previous versions of Excel, too. Um, pivot Chart. And let's just take a look at this by uh, a bar graph here. And we've just graphed that as well. So two little clicks. One of them was just to determine that we wanted the little 3D effects here. Um, you know, so there's a lot we can do in Excel 
without all that fancy reporting and spending tons of money to try to get these reports exactly right.